Okay, so you're involved in a few different productions going on. Tell me a little bit about them. Yeah, sure. So first up, uh, next week, we've got a production called Lamplighters, which is a one-man interactive spy story inspired by the novels of John le Carre. It's quite a loving parody of, like, sort of 60s-style spy stories and uh, meant to be super interactive, so audience members will get up and be the spies in the story and do all sorts of, like, uh, fun and interesting things. Um, uh, it's performed by a guy called Neil Connolly, who is one of the one of the best actors in immersive theatre and interactive theatre working today, and we've sort of co-written it and co-produced it. Um, and that's um, the one-man show, isn't it? Yeah, that's a one, so that's a one-man show. One man, but I think most of the audience will get to play along as well. Mm. And, I mean, I'm particularly interested in the one that's loosely based around Stranger Things. What's going on there? I mean, obviously everyone, everyone is obsessed. Everything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's an experience called The Pendulum. Uh, it's, it's a horror experience that is a, uh, it's a mixture between virtual reality and immersive theatre. So what we're co- sort of calling hyper-reality. Um, so you go in, you're taken into a cell and you're interrogated. And part of the interrogation is they put the, this VR headset on you and you're trying to, the, like, it's a, it's a horror experience you experience in virtual reality. That is the sort of like interrogation method they've gone with, and so you're in this like dark space, and these creatures come out of nowhere and try and uh, try and try and uh, convince you to give up this this password that you're trying to you need to hold on to. It sounds insane. I don't know why I have a massive smile on my face. Obviously, I should be like scared by this, but some people get excited by horror. <laughs> Just a weird personality. <laughs> Watch out. So what's the final one? Uh, so the final one is uh, a big St. Patrick's Day party because the festival ends the weekend of St. Patrick's Day. Uh, so it's called Ruckus and it is uh, it is sort of like an Irish mob themed St. Patrick's Day party. So thinking Peaky Blinders, flat caps, oh, fiddles, okay. all of that sort of thing. Um, so we'll have like a few actors going around. There'll be a bit of a story going on and sort of encouraging people to dress up and have like an alternative St. Patrick's Day. And was this your idea? Uh yeah, the, so I'm collaborating with a company called Specific on that, and we've sort of we've wanted to do something along those lines for ages because uh, old style gangsters are really cool and fun, and we've wanted to throw a fun party around that in St Patrick's Day here underground in what like looks like some smugglers' tunnels is kind of perfect. Yeah, absolutely, and they're all particularly relevant as well, aren't yeah. they? Like. Looking at what's popular at the moment, Stranger Things, Peaky Blinders, like yeah, I think these are going to be quite popular. Yeah, you've got you've got to look at like the wider landscape when you're making these sort of things, and and like if you're ex- if if people are excited about it and I'm excited about it, people will enjoy it and be interested in it. That's that's sort of the idea. Do you have a fave? I'm not allowed to have a favourite. It's like that's like having a favourite child. You can't you can't you can't do that. <laughs> you birth them all. Yeah. <laughs> well, enjoy and good luck. Thank you very much. 